Hey guys, it's Yusuf with The Collective Team. And today I wanna to share how to annotate a PowerPoint presentation when you're sharing in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Super simple, and it's one of those little hidden gems that people forget about. So I wanna quickly bring it up for those who haven't used it yet, so you can start using that annotation feature, which, which is just a great way to engage your users and help specify areas of focus when presenting. So what I'm gonna just go ahead and do is like meet now real quick turn off my mic, join. And so I'm gonna hit the share icon. And what I'll see is there's two different options when it comes to PowerPoint. There is the PowerPoint under window. And then if I were to upload a PowerPoint, there's an option to present using that function as well. What I'm going to do is actually just select the PowerPoint window. And I'm gonna go ahead and also change this to be in presenter mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and put presenter view. And now what I see is I'm in this presenter view and I do have some options here. And this is where I can go ahead and annotate. So if I click that annotation, I can select different things like the arrow, the pen, laser pointer, highlighter, so let me just go ahead and click next. And what I'll do is I'll click that and I'm gonna do pen. So now I can start annotating. And that's the pen tool. So I can click that annotation and I can also switch from things like a laser pointer, eraser, or a highlighter. So maybe if I click the highlighter, I can go ahead and highlight something. I can go back and I can switch between the eraser, the erase pen. I can change the pen color. I can, if I use the laser, I can put the color that I want it to be. The laser pointer is helpful. Super straightforward to use. Um, I can do whatever I want. I can, but one thing you want to do is if you are trying to go next, you're not going to want to click while you're in pen mode because then you'll just do that. So what you'll want to do is actually hit next over here or you can go ahead and switch back to the arrow and now when i click i'll go to the next slide again it's it's simple to use but it is one of those things people forget about and don't realize is an option so i hope if you guys didn't know about this it was a helpful tip so you can start using annotation in your powerpoint presentations again my name is yusuf with the collective team and to follow us just Follow the social media to stay on top of all the latest videos where we share tips and tricks and new features released in Microsoft. Catch you guys all later. Bye.